Guys, this video that so many of you have been waiting for, for the long time OGs, five years it's been, uh, this video is brought to you by our channel sponsor, Beautiful Fission. I have yet to hear from you guys a negative comment on this, which is great. Um, so many of you are liking it. I am using it um, every morning before I go to the gym is actually when I use it. One thing I didn't know is that there's a little uh, there's a little cap back. Look at that. You could actually make the cap stick back so you can always you know drink from it. So I actually didn't know that until now, which is kind of cool. Great, great product. Please try it out yourself. Link is in the description below. You will get 10% off. Uh, go check them out. Go do your research. Um, it is a beautiful energy drink. Remember, it is water. The actual bottle itself is water in here the energy drink is this little capsule right here this is the energy drink you just put it in right into the top beautiful scenes you can control the dial control the flavor if you want 10 max flavor you can put it at 10 if you want one you can put it at one uh, my favorite setting is on four and uh, thank you to them for uh, sponsoring the video and being a channel partner and remember guys go check the link in the description below and if you don't have the code if you want to just go on their website it is real radman 10 use that all right let's get to the video EA Sports, it's in the game. EA Sports, it's in the game. <laughs> NASCAR Thunder 2004. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally back. Oh, beautiful scenes. Over five years ago is when I played this game. Um, I am uh, very excited to be back. I don't really remember anything. Uh, the video quality, the content is going to be much better than we, what we were doing back then. To the OGs that remember, there was like, we had less than a thousand subscribers. So to the OGs that remember, uh, welcome back. This one's for you. NASCAR Thunder 2004. So many of you have been asking for it. It's been pushed up, okay? Because unfortunately, NASCAR 21 is not in a very good state right now. So what I really want, what, like, what I really want to be playing this game right now in November? Probably not. No, I really wish I was playing NASCAR 21. We will continue to play NASCAR 21. I'm just waiting on patch number three uh, as we move into a loading screen. We will continue doing that. But in order to get some variety on the channel, we are on NASCAR Thunder 2004. So many of you love this game. And yes, it is my favorite game of all time um, in terms of the NASCAR games. It is incredible. Unfortunately, you see in-game music. We're not going to be able to listen to it because YouTube copyright. We know that, but we are bringing back the persona music um, that I always use on the channel. So it's going to be a great time. Welcome to the beginning of the career. This is the best career mode in any NASCAR game. This is the best NASCAR game of any NASCAR game. Um, it is the, the, it's the, the ideal game. It is the standard. It is the, the king of all kings. There's nothing better. There really is not. Uh, NR2003 and iRacing, I don't compare that to this because NR2003 was, you know, PC, simulator, all that stuff. This is a NASCAR console game made for all ages, all fans. It covered so many different just genres and it just, it, it is the standard that this is it. So if you ever want to make a NASCAR game, Motorsport Games, that is as good um, or as good as you want to be, you got to follow this game because this game did everything right. It is the best NASCAR console game of all time. Um, it holds that crown uh, for the foreseeable future until hopefully NASCAR, I mean, I'm hoping Motorsport Games puts out a game better than this. Trust me, there's nothing I want more than that. I want this game to be taken off of the, 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 uh, the throne, but we got to wait a little bit longer. So let's head, damn it, <laughs> just about to fly away for the loading screen. I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon members for always supporting the channel. You guys are the absolute best. And let's get into the career mode. Now, there are a few things I want to point out. Um, there, so in this game, I am playing on the PC SX2 emulator. So if you guys, PC, uh, let me repeat that, PC SX2. So if you want to play this game, you want to play it in the best kind of quality you can. PC SX2 emulator, not Dolphin emulator. Dolphin emulator was for NASCAR Thunder 2003. PC SX2 is for NASCAR Thunder 2004. Now, we are going to be playing in like the quote unquote, HD quality so I've bumped up the native resolution one thing that happens when I do that on this game is there might be a little bit of slowdown on the front straightaways where the game like lags a little bit in terms of speed if it's too noticeable and it bothers you guys let me know we can always bump it down to native quality which is essentially what the quality would be like on a ps2 it's very pixelated a little bit foggy but there would be no slowdown however if you guys don't notice it and it's fine and it's good and you know you're okay with it and you'd much rather take the extra graphic fidelity look over just a little bit of slowdown um let me know about that too it's happens at, i haven't really tried all the tracks but it happens mostly at daytona so uh we'll see how it goes 
We are starting a new career. Now, I also comment down below, please, we need to know what we want to do here. So, there's a 10% and a 25% option. Obviously, in NASCAR Thunder 2003, we did 10%. I would like to do longer races. 25% is a lot. I was hoping maybe a 20% option, but 25%, I'm willing to do it. The difference is it would be one race per video. Or do you guys want to keep the fast paced kind of movement and do two races per video, 10% length? You guys let me know. We're going to be doing the Daytona 500 anyways. Um, actually, no, I can't even change it. Damn. Well, I'm not sure if I could change this or not. Um, that's unfortunate. All right. So for this one, for this season, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to change this or not. I'm going to leave it at 10% for now. But if you want me to do longer races, hopefully I can change this in the settings. I'm really hoping I can. If you want me to change it, please let me know, um, and we will do that. Now, I'm going to go create a car. Obviously, I suck at creating cars, so I'll probably just fast forward through this, try to pick one, and, and see what's going to happen. Guys, I don't know what to do with the paint. I'm terrible at making cars. This looks like an old school car, which is why I like it. This color, like this brownish, goldish, whatever the heck color I just picked. I, 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 customized, I customized the color. Maybe a little bit brighter. A little bit. No, put that back in there. Like, what about that? Or, or should we go with the pink? Because I like the pink as well. But the, thing, the thing about this paint scheme, we can do blue... I mean, we could change it according to what our sponsor is. I don't know what the sponsor is going to be yet. So we can do multiple different things. I like this pink right here. Uh, I mean, that's the nice thing about using black and white as the secondary and the, the detailed colors is that we can kind of pick any car I want. I can change it throughout the season, actually. So uh, I, I guess we'll change it throughout the season, but this will be the, like the main paint scheme. And then I'll, I'll, I'll continue changing it. We'll run... Uh, for the Daytona 500, we'll run this old school brownish looking car. <laughs> this, this, I don't know, it's just an old school paint scheme, so we'll run, we'll run that. Okay, it's time for the sponsors. Let's see who we are going to get. I'm hoping there's one sponsor in the game. It was in last year's game. I'm really hoping we get it, so we will see. Uh, sponsorship overview. One of the keys to having is a good sponsor is don't be enticed by the prospect of big money. Make sure that you select a sponsorship with expectations that you can consistently meet. We're going to suck, so that's that's good to know. Primary. Oh my god. Same three we got in NASCAR Thunder 2003. Windcraft. I remember Windcraft was a one. Nikon was one. Was Craftsman one? I don't remember if Craftsman was one. Maybe they didn't even change the sponsors. I don't know. But holy crap. Is this the new iteration of the Nikon car? A Chevy Monte Carlo brownish looking car? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Before, before we actually pick them, we need to see the sponsorship expectations because that's actually a pretty big deal um, with knowing how we're going to suck. So let's think about that. Okay, Windcraft. 8,000 per race, 33 bonus, oh, a bonus of 33,000 per race. That bonus, you only get it if you, uh, I'm assuming you get the sponsorship expectations, right? So we got to make sure we get that. Finish in 40th. Honestly, it's probably going to be pretty difficult at the beginning of the season to do that. Nikon, average finish of 40th, uh, 1,000 less of in income, 3,000 less of the bonus, uh, average finish of 40th. And Craftsman, average finish of 35th, 11,000 income. Uh, a, a pretty big boost on the bonus, though, up uh, 17k. I think there's only one option, guys. <laughs> it's back, baby. The Nikon car is back. Oh, baby. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Average finish of 40th place, guys. Remember that. Um, oh, okay. I, I, are we really going to pick Nikon for everything? Um, let's, let's look. Average start in 40th, qualify in 40th, average start in 35th. You know what? Bring it on board. Um, 
Now, the white logo, too. It, it matches perfectly with the paint scheme. Oh, my. Ah, I'm so happy. Uh, ah, damn it. Okay, we're not going to have it on the side of the car, though. All right, so what is it going to be on the side of the car? Easy care. Rank 40th in earnings. No, I'm not doing finisher. I, Hill, I, I'm not even a coffee guy. Hillsboro, I'm not a coffee guy. So that's not happening. Rank 35th in points. Those, I'm not very confident in my abilities early in the season. So easy care it is. That, that's not going to fit the... Mm. Actually, honestly, only Hillsboro coffee fits the paint scheme, but... I can't do that, so easy care goes on the car. That does not fit the paint scheme at all, but whatever. We will deal with it. Team sponsorship, easy care. Kmart, Advanced Auto, participate in the race to get paid. It really doesn't matter. We will go with Advanced Auto Parts, because why not? Uh, we'll put them on the car. And driver sponsor. We all know it's going to be Nikon, because those are my boys. Nikon is on the car. Okay, I couldn't have scripted that any better. Thank God. I was really... I, I didn't know if they were in the game. Um, I, I was assuming that, you know, I actually, I don't remember what our first sponsor was. I'll probably watch back. I'll, I'm going to watch the, my, you know, the video from five years ago. Uh, I'm going to watch it again, but I don't, I don't remember what our first sponsor was. So that's really cool. Okay. Sign the team. All right. Uh, team overview. You'll need a good team around you to help maximize your success. Your team members are broken down into the builders and pit crew. Uh, determine the speed and quality of your mechanical upgrades. Wait, your builders will determine the speed. Oh, okay. So the builders are very, very important. Okay. I'll move myself up here so we can all see everything. Actually, let's go down here. Yep, down here. That's what we're going to do. I'm all the way down here now, lads. Okay. So, um, the I'm going to go to the builders straight away because the builders are actually very important. So, let's do this. Crew chief. Uh, who we got? Uh, looking to sign. Try not to spend too much money. Surround yourself with the best team possible without breaking the bank. Well, how much money do we have? We have 60000 113,000 income per race. Okay, so, all right, we'll, we'll see. Um, this guy's the most expensive, DeVault. 51, 56, fi no, no. See, if Super Speedway is the highest, that's usually the guy I don't go for. So, uh, we will, oh, but he's actually, mm, well, he's way better than the other two, though. That's the problem. Ooh, ooh. See, th this is tough. Uh, potential 91 on the guy that's not very good. Um, 62 on this crew chief, 55 on this one. 91 potential, though. Uh, Super Speedway's lacking, but I, I mean, I don't really, that, a 55 potential on this guy? Is that really worth it? So, uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll go with, um, we'll go with Haynes. Yeah, we'll go with Haynes. Uh, that's, that's not the ideal star. And, okay, the builders are so important. The builders, oh, 95 potential. Okay, this guy might already be it. Uh, 95 potential, and he's the biggest overall. It's T. Sanders. Uh, yep, that is 100% the guy we are going with. It's not even close. Uh, Chassis Builder, please give me high potential. 98 potential. Oh, this career is going beautiful. It's go I can't ask for anything else. I can't ask for anything else. This is amazing. Um, the grip His tire grip is at 56. Fi this is amazing. This is amazing. Salary, 9,000 per race. Bring it in. Bring it in, my friends. Bring it in. Um, so we have 8,000, 9,000, 9,000. Let's do math. That is 18, 20, 26,000. Okay, so fabricator. I'm not really usually the biggest, you know, guy on fabrication. So we will go with 58, 59, 56, 53, 50, 59, 52. But he has 80 potential. I'm going to save a little bit of money in this area. Actually, no, but that, that's a difference of nine and downforce. Yeah, I'm going to need the downforce. Okay, so we're not saving money. <laughs> I'm just... This is not going to be good, is it? Okay, I might have to actually start thinking about not, you know, trying to spend too much money here. Um, potential, potential. 78 potential, 59, 51, 55, 50, 53, 59. Uh, we'll go... We'll go experience. They're both $4,000, so we'll go with a little bit better guy. Um, front tire carrier. 56, 53, 98 potential on him. We'll go with the middle guy. So 98 potential. We will go with Mr. Brown. I want guys with potential. That's my main thing. So none of these guys have any potential. Um, they all pretty much suck. Uh, we will go with uh, Banks. We're going to have to probably... Rear, rear tire changer, we're going to have to actually, you know, probably replace that. That's not the best potential there. 83 potential on the top guy. 84 potential on the bottom guy. We will go with the... Mm, we'll go with... There's not really a big difference. We'll go with the bottom guy. 
um, save a little bit of money. Jackman, 65, 64, 92. Uh, he's not very good, but he has a 92 potential. Uh, so we will go with Strouser down here. Gas Man, potential, 63, 62, 57. None of them are very good. They're all the same price. We will go with the... I don't know. We'll go with the speed. If you give me a mistake, who cares? We're probably going to make mistakes anyways. Catch Can Man, uh, 99 potential. That is what I want to see. We are going to sign him. Okay, so I'm trying to make a mental note. Rear Tire Changer, Jack Man, Gas Man, we're all low on potential. Rear Tire Changer, Jack Man, Gas Man. I'm pretty sure those are the guys that were low on potential. We back out. We are done. All right, the Daytona 500 is up next. Let's go to the team management. Uh, income 109, expenses is 63. So that's not terrible. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I have to relearn all this. Reference? What's reference? Uh, sponsorship? Oh, these are just tips. Okay, we don't need any of that. Shop additions. Uh, shop additions. Researching and developing the mechanical aspects of your race team will help you keep up with the competition. Investing some of that hard-earned money in shop additions early and often will help to improve your car's performance. Stick with it. So this is essentially R&D? No, no, this is just adding to the ship. Well, it helps build stuff better, and there's a lot to do here. Holy crap. I remember this a little bit. Uh, chassis shop, which gets... Yeah, so this is essentially how R&D works, I'm guessing. Chassis shop, tire mounting machine, shock, dyno, skid pad, wheel balancer, welding stage, all this stuff um, is very, very important. Um, you guys actually can't see the benefit it gives. There you go. Now you can see it. So tire grip plus 10, tire wear, tire... Once we play the game a little bit more, I'll see what's important. Obviously, in NASCAR Thunder 2003, it was tire wear. That was the main thing. Um, but in this game, it might be different. Uh, a ton of just bunch of things. They all are very expensive. So we actually doesn't even, uh, shop editions, per looking to purchase shop edition for your shop. They're crucial to the operation, but you don't want to pace yourself too quickly. Uh, $100,000. So yeah, this is, this is our, this is the upgraded version of R and D. So we will go into all this fabrication, body forming templates, simulation software, all this beautiful stuff. Why can I not get this in a game in 2021? We have to be patient. Hopefully, we'll get it soon. Sponsorship is here. Beautiful. Team. Uh, they're all right there. And the garage. Uh, this is use a garage to build and manage your inventory of engine, chassis, and body. You will have a bit of steady rotation of equipment. Okay. So, we have two. We have one chassis, one. Uh, we have two chassis, two engines, two bodies. I think the different part here is the bodies. The bodies actually matter, too. So, we have... We essentially have another layer of uh, trying to manage this, so we gotta work on that. How do you build stuff, though? Do you, do we build something? Chassis. Your builders will work as hard as they can to get all your equipment ready for you to use as soon as possible. However, the more you are willing to spend on it, the quicker it'll be ready. Okay, so, but how do I build one? I, I just want to get, I want to get started right away if I can, but it's not saying I can build one, so. Chassis is already using your latest technology. That's a little bit weird. Guys, can I get some help here? Do I have to like, I, I don't know what I gotta do. That's an info. Let's go take a look at, uh, is the schedule even any different? Um, North Carolina, Las Vegas, Atlanta, Dar doesn't look very different to me. It looks pretty much the same. All 36 races. The end of the season is the same. Looks the same to me. Um, let's go to, uh, wait, driver stats. All right, season has not begun yet. I can't even look at it. Standing season. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the drivers in the game, but it looks like I can't even do that. Driver respect. There's rivals and stuff in this game, so we'll do that later. Okay, I can't even do that. Wow. Ah, the trophy room. I remember the trophy room. We have nothing. And we're probably not going to have anything for a very long time, so unfortunately. Gameplay settings. Uh, I can change it. Oh, thank God. Okay, guys. So, it... We're going to keep it at 10% for the Daytona 500 because this has already been a very long intro. We have the, the Gatorade duels to do and the Daytona 500, so we'll keep it at 10%. Please let me know. 25 or 10. 25 or 10. Very, very important. Assists will be off. Damage will be on. Yellow flags will be on. Um, beautiful scenes. Assists are... Uh, they're disabled in the rules, so you don't got to worry about that. Um, <laughs> I laughed about this. You know how there's a camera shake in NASCAR 21 Ignition? Well, you can turn the camera shake off in this game it's just an option rear view mirror you can turn it on and off so uh motorsport games i don't really want to bark on you too much because this is the best game ever made in terms of nascar game so i don't want to you know be keep beating a dead horse but yeah we gotta get on that as soon as possible um these are the i'm using configuration 2 which is using the triggers instead of the x which they used back in the day they always used x um and let's get onto it oh what the heck oh i gotta pick a chassis okay uh chassis 
This is Daytona, right? I'm gonna save the tire grip and tire wear. <laughs> I don't need it. We'll use the, the, the better one later. Alright, engine, I do need that. So, we're gonna use engine number one. Body, yep, that's very important. Drafting, whatever has the best drafting. Alright, 53, we'll use you. Um, Alright, well, you could simulate races. Oh, you could do that last time, too, but... Okay, let's go. All right, guys, welcome to practice for the Daytona 500. Um, so, few things that I just want to mention um, for those of you that are watching NASCAR Thunder 2003. I am doing the tire pressure at 30. Um, I did some tests, and gear ratio doesn't seem like it makes a difference. Um, probably burn more fuel uh, on preset, like lower presets. Um, suspension, I have done 1585, but I, I do want to stress this. The only reason why I'm like doing this is because we are really, really slow, and uh, I don't want to like finish last. But Essentially, for this career, I will not be manipulating the setups. Um, I, I can't do, like, downforce all the way down to because that's how the game goes faster. No, no. I'm going to play the game with default setups as it was essentially intended. And how we are going to get faster is by upgrading the team. It's not going to be by manipulating and finding. So, like, for example, like, you know, at, at NASCAR Thunder 2003, we would do high gear or low gear ratios or high gear ratios and you know move the suspension like this um and then we dominate the only reason i'm doing it right now is because this is our first ever race and i just want to see we get a little like a little extra boost in, in speed um but from here on out we will be using default setups so it's going to be really hard and i'm going to have to fight and claw for every little thing um and the only way we can get better is by upgrading the team and upgrading the car via the r d that is how we're going to do it Obviously, if I'm a little bit tight here or a little bit loose there, I can make adjustments there. But nothing that blatantly manipulates or, like, loopholes the game into where you can really get a speed advantage. I don't want any of that. Um, I feel like I was guilty of that in NASCAR Thunder 2003. So, let's get into qualifying and see what happens. All right, guys. So, here's what the game looks like right now. You can tell I have it. I don't have it on the highest quality settings because I'm trying to minimize that slow down especially like the end of the front straightaway here i don't think i have much of it the game's actually running pretty smoothly uh i end up qualifying 43rd on the first lap um yes yeah, so you can hear the pa announcer in the background yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be fast okay but essentially i can bump up the quality to make it look like really hd there might be a little bit of slowdown, but it will look really good, or I can kind of leave it like this in the middle, or I can go completely native, and it'll be like super pixelated and everything. Let me know. Um, I might bump it up, because the, the slowdown doesn't really bother me. It just, it's very, it's not even very noticeable, honestly. Um, it's a little bit noticeable, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. This qualifying lap should be okay. I mean, uh, I, we're, we're going, to, I think, going about four miles per hour faster on average with the, uh, the suspension set up the way it is. So I'm hoping that it's a decent lap, at least top 40. I'll take it. 22nd for the Gatorade Duels? I mean, that's better than I thought, so... <laughs> that's much better than I thought. Is there a race, a pre-race intro for the Duels? I got no idea. There's not a pre-race intro. Okay, Gatorade, uh, do I have to pit? Uh, first race determined... Okay, no. So we just gotta run it. Yep, okay, yep, no, we don't want... Okay, yep, Ricky Rudd and, and, and Crate. Yeah, no, we don't want... We don't want the starting lineup. We're, we're off on our way. Here we go. Okay. I forgot how annoying that PA announcer actually is. He's a little bit annoying. All right, Spotter, thank you very much. We are in 11th. Uh, I really don't know how fast I'll be, guys, so just bear with me. I'm pretty sure this game is capped at 30 FPS because NASCAR Thunder 2003 actually ran smoother. This, this game's a little bit more uh, 30 FPS-y. You know, it looks... It looks like I'm at 30 FPS at least. Uh, can can you get out? Who, who are you? Uh, Steve Park. Okay, get get out of my way, Steve. Oh wait, why are you blocking me? Park, you prick! <laughs> this man's blocking me in the Gatorade duels. Get out of my way! I don't have the Intimidator button. Get out of my way! I can't break the bubble. The, the game doesn't let me break the bubble. You little monster! You America Online monster! Get, get out of the way! No, okay, I'm actually stuck. I can't I can't go anywhere. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. Oh God. All right. I got to get a run here. Hold on one second. One second. Come on. Pick up the pace. This car is actually performing pretty well, to be honest. This is surprising. 184 miles per hour. First race of the season. Can I go low? No. Park's going to block. All right. I guess I'll just chill here because I can't do anything. So we will just run our line. Hell, is that Robbie Gordon to the right, right of me? It looks like it is. Can I... Nope, nope, I'm losing the pack a little bit. Okay, Robbie, please go ahead. Go, go, no, Junior. I'm, I feel like I'm holding Junior up, but I, I really don't care. 
Am I clear, Gordon? No. Oh my God, Jesus! Can you can you pass me, or I pass you? Like, can can someone, Junior, push, push, push me? Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. But oh wait, Greg Biffle blew up. Biffle blew up. <laughs> Blown engine. Okay, I think Junior's below me. Yep, he is. Hello, hello, Junior. How's it going, my friend? What's up? What's up? I'm just trying to finish in the top ten of this dual race. You know. Let's, oh, wait, 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 nope. Wait, I'm not trying to make contact, man. It's my rookie season. The Nikon car is back, you know? I'll share a draft with Junior. Yeah. Oh, I, I, man, my, my camera's blocking the face. Damn it. I, I, guys, do you want me to move the camera to the left side? That's probably another thing. Because this, I don't know, this game, there's a lot of things that happen on the right. So if you want me to move it to the left. Like, are you blocking me again? No, no, I'm, I'm getting down there. Get out of my way. Out. Here, shoot. Shoot. That's what you get for blocking me. Don't don't block the. Oh, you want to be a rival? You want to be a rival, Ricky Craven? We can we can have that. We can have that. You could be the first rival of the Nikon car. But if you're gonna block me in a Gatorade dual race, I'm gonna run into you. All right, all right. Just let you know. So in the span of five laps, the leader's already crossing the start finish line now and has won the race. So we are definitely pretty slow. But to finish in ninth, because I'm blocking right now, that's a good result. Good job. All right, there we go. This is probably the only race we have an op a chance of actually, like, finishing in the top 10 or top 20 in the Daytona 500, so I'll take it. Uh, Michael Waltrip up there. Um, wow, you know, you're right. My that MRN folk are back. Finish, okay, leave me alone, please. Incredible. And now we go to the race. All right. MRN with the call. First time. Let's see what they say. Well, here we are at the Great American Race, the Daytona 500, the NASCAR Winston Cup Series premier event. This is Joe Moore, and I'm with Barney Hall to bring you live flag-to-flag -flag coverage on MRN. To win a race is something pretty special at any track. But to win here at Daytona, you're that much closer to becoming a legend in the sport. The list of former winners here is very prestigious indeed. Who wouldn't want their name to be on it? Who knows? Maybe we'll add another lucky driver when this one's all over. McMurray moved up to Winston Cup after having an impressive year in the Bush Series in 2002. He picked up a couple of wins and finished six in the points last year. Plus, he did an admirable job filling in for Sterling Marlin in some cup runs. Dale Jarrett was part of one of the tightest point battles in NASCAR history in 1997. He ended up finishing second to Jeff Gordon. And he didn't finish second by much, only 14 points. And Mark Martin wasn't too far behind either. Those last couple of races in a season are pretty exciting when a championship is on the line. Ward Burton recorded his second career win here at Daytona in 2002. And that was the first win for Dodge here since the 1974 Daytona 500. Boy, it was good to see both Ward and Dodge back in victory lane. That was a cool national anthem. <laughs> oh, it's a big play. Oh! <laughs> back oh the pre-race intros are back oh my god jimmy johnson's on pole little fraud in the front row are the low chevrolet and the motocraft board i uh, don't care <laughs> yeah, all right we're not going to be competing with any of these guys i'm very interested to see who's who's like really fast in this game but we're in 17th guys and the start of our career the green flag of the daytona 500 is out the nikon car is back now we just gotta be very. Oh, oh, I don't want to start reverse side drafting already. That's not. That was not my plan here. You can't make contact like you could in, in uh, 2003. The car is a lot heavier. It's a lot like. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm already like. Hold on. I, I'm probably gonna run hood view guys most of the time on this game because the hood view is actually perfect. So I probably will use that except when I need to see where people are. I think I'm clear, but right now everything's going pretty well. I mean, we're starting to move up. I just gotta stay in the draft as much as I can, and we'll be okay. This is a good start. Up into the top 15. Yes. Yes. Beautiful scenes. There we go. And I've lost the pack. <laughs> Lap one. I have lost the front pack. Okay, so... Uh, I, I'll take a 15th place finish, honestly. I don't know what the fuel mileage is going to be like. Let's check. 11.0 on... 11.0? How, how, many, how much gallons of fuel do I have? I thought it was 22. It's definitely not 22. Did they make a rule change in 2004? How much fuel do I have now? Is... 10 point, how much did I start with? Did I start with 13 or something? That's very low. Maybe we started with 12. I think we only started with... Was that a rule change in real life? We went from 22 gallons down to, what, 12? That's a little bit weird. Uh, I'm actually going to let Matt Kenseth go. The, the reigning, defending NASCAR champion. 
actually no, this game was made in 2003, so technically not. Um, but he is what what a, what a guy, what a guy. 2004, he was the champion in 2003. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna befriend him. Let's let's share a draft. He's an ally now. All right, let's go, my friend. Boy, but it, you got you gotta stay stay with me though. Stay, come come back, please, please. Don't don't pull away from me. I'm I'm a slow little turtle. Thank you. Appreciate it. No, oh, come back, Matt. Matt, please. Oh, look who's behind us. It's the damn, it's the damn UPS Ford. Dale, Jer Dale, it's a, it's a new, it's a new beginning, guys. It's a new beginning. I'm not. Uh, he's not a rival to us. He's just, he's just another guy. Right now, we're actually making a great ally. Plus 26. He's getting greener and greener, happier and happier. Matt Kenseth. Except we're not going anywhere. We're actually getting caught because I'm so slow. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, I'm not. I'm in the top 15, top 20. I'll take it. You know. All right, that's enough drafting. Heck with you. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think there's really any difference in just like share drafting versus just running behind them. So I'll just run behind them halfway on fuel. Actually, there might be a little bit of a difference. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so we've definitely found our group. We are in 16th. Kenseth is ahead of us. The pack ahead is a little. You know, we're probably not going to catch them. We might catch. Actually, we are catching them. It's just Newman, and it looks like. Oh, Tony Stewart, maybe? Looks like. I don't know. Um, we got cars coming up high, I think. I think. Spotter. Is someone coming to my outside? Yep, Ricky Rudd was right there. I didn't, I, I didn't really know where he was. Uh, it looks like we are catching Newman, and it looks like Tony Stewart. Dale Jarrett's behind us. Steve Park is behind us. That's Jam that Jamie McMurray in the car behind us. Yeah, 42 to Jamie McMurray. I'm trying to learn. This is the year. I'm trying to remember who's the, the roster in 2004. Um, so just trying to make sure of all that. But we are catching Newman, so perfect. Okay, fuel. What's the fuel like? It's 3.7. I mean, we're probably going to lose a lot of spots on pit road. The pit, the pit crew suck. So, I mean, that's expected. The pack is not fully spread out. You can look at the map at the top, and it looks like people are pitting. Tony Stewart, Matt Kenseth. It actually looks like a lot of guys are pitting. Uh, I'll go let me check 3.0. I'll go one more lap. I mean, no, there's no real uh, issue with going one more lap, so there go the majority. That was actually a good amount of cars. Yep, good amount. Maybe half of the front runners, maybe a little bit less. They come down pit road. I'm trying to get in Ryan Newman's draft with Dale Jarrett hovering me from behind. Little monster. Get up, just leave me alone. Carry the momentum. Make a pass on Ryan Newman. Very impressive. Okay. Except now I have no draft, and this doesn't work. All right. Uh, are we boxing? 1.8. That was 3.0. I could technically go one more lap. It looks like we're going to have to pit twice. Two pit stops. All right. Very low on fuel. Pit, the crew chief said pit. pit. All right. Books, books, Lewis. For the first time in your career, books, books. Books, books, books. Tires worn. Okay. Only now? Wow. Oh, uh, oh wait. Hold on. Ew. Wait. Is he going to get out of the way? Okay. He is going to get out of the way. There's a blown engine down there. 70 miles per hour. I've not done. A s I'm going to go a little bit faster. There we go. 70 miles per hour. All right. Where's the line? Damn it. <laughs> I could have been much more aggressive. Wow. Uh, four tires, fuel, and we will go on our way. The first pit stop for the boys. What was the estimated time? It was like, I don't even, I, I gotta look at the estimated time next time because I didn't remember what it was. Come on, lads, you look so good. Come on, come on. First pit stop, no mistakes. No mistakes. Eight, not. Why you guys run into each other? Why? Why, why you guys gonna run into each other? There's, there's no reason to do this. There's no reason. All right, all right, that's a that's a, a, a 20 second pit, a 19 and a half. Great job, guys. Seriously, it, it, fantastic. But I think we got away with it because pit road was incredibly busy, and I think everyone got held up. So I'm pretty sure we got away with it. So guys, it's okay. Just next time, don't give me a, a, a 20 second pit stop. I'm gonna need a little bit better than that. I probably should have just merged onto the track and cheated, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna follow the rules. So I was, I stayed on the apron the whole time. We are back to 19, so we've lost a little bit of time. It's okay though. Who is in the 49 this year? Is, or is it still you, Shauna Robinson? Or is it someone else? I got no idea. Uh, you're, you're passing me anyways. I need to get behind someone. I I, I don't want to be running up in front, so I'm trying to let these guys go. Or gals, if that is a gal in the 49 car. I still don't know. So can you please go ahead? Thank you very much. All right, who are you? Oh, it's Ken Schrader. Ken Schrader, hi. How's it going? How are you, my friend? Look at you. Oh, my goodness. Ken, why the heck are you running up here? Why are we running the wall? Ken, down. Go down the track. Down the track. Come on, Ken, down the track. Down, there you go. Okay, perfect, thank you. Ken, Ken, down, down the, Jesus. <sighs> okay, all right. We don't want to work together, guys. We have a pack of five here. 
All right, we can work together. Go. Kurt Busch, go. Labani, go. Come on. You only have one more year in that car anyways before young Kyle Busch comes in. All right, Kurt, my, the, the, uh, the future champion this year. I'm going to need you to, uh, to, to get going. Come on. This is textbook 101 of how not to... Oh, bump drafting? Ooh. Yeah. A little push? Nope, nope. I was going to say, this is textbook 101 on how not to run in a five-car pack when you're trying to catch other cars. We're all side-by-side. Side. No one's organized. This is a mess. Three wide behind. Oh, my God. What, what is going on? Don't hit the wall. No! No! My Nikon car! Damage. I'm sorry, crew chief. Doesn't look like Dale Jarrett got that type of pace, huh? He's right there behind us. He's still in, in the, the 20s. He's, he's not really making up any ground. Uh, let's actually see who's leading the race. Kevin Harvick is leading the Daytona 500 with Michael Walter, Ricky Rudd, and Jeff Gordon behind uh, Joe Nemechek. Or, yeah, it is Nemechek. Joe, uh, Nemechek is in the 25 in this game. Um, let's actually quickly check the drivers. Uh, oh, there we go. Nemechek. Can I? Nope, I can't. Can I do this? Okay, all right. So, let me see. Nemechek, Jr., Rusty Wallace, Jeff Burton, Benson. Ow. Oh, Sterling Marlin blew an engine. It must, have had, it must have just happened because he's still running in 10th. So Sterling Marlin looks like he blew an engine. He, we're probably going to see him in a second. Tony Stewart, Labonte, Kenseth, uh, McMurray, Jeremy Mayfield. Green is in the one, not Steve Park. Okay, so Green is in the one. Jimmy Johnson, uh, Jack Sprague is in the zero. Kurt Busch, Labonte, us, Dale Jarrett, Newman, Schrader, Elliott. Jerry Nadeau is in the zero one. Ward Burton, Bodine is in the 11. D. Green. Don't remember what your first name is. Greg Biffle, Robbie Gordon, uh, that's Christian Fittipaldi in the 43. Mark Martin is surprisingly in 33rd in a pretty good car. Kenny Wallace is in the 23. Mike Skinner, Elliot Sadler, Hermie Sadler, got all the Sadlers in here. Uh, LePage, Montgomery, uh, <laughs> Kevin LePage is in the game, that's funny. Uh, Kyle Petty, Steve Park is in the 30. Casey Mears, Ricky Craven is out of the race in 43rd. All right, so now, 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 now that I know everyone... We can get back going. Uh, we are going to have to pit one more time, but I might be able to make a little bit of a, uh, a fuel game here. Oh, we're going to go three wide, aren't we, Mr. Jarrett? Okay, that's fine. Good move. And speaking of Sterling Marlin, there he is. Boom, right there. For, he has a blown engine. See you later, Sterling Marlin. Hopefully my engine doesn't go kaboom. Did that damage on the right side really hurt me a lot? Because I can't even keep up with Mr. Labani, Jarrett, Kerp. Well, actually, those guys are pretty quick. All right, uh, Ryan Newman, want to go ahead? Maybe we can share draft, hopefully. Come on, get in front of me, get in front of me, get in front of me. There we go. All right, stay, stay, stay with me, stay with me. Come on, let's be friends. Let's be friends, young Ryan Newman, Mr. Rocket Man Ryan Newman. Hopefully we can be friends. Don't pit. Don't pit, don't pit, don't pit. All right, Ryan Newman's not pitting. We're going to stay with him because we still have one, oh, 1.5. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. Oh, I might have to pit. I might have to pit. I don't think we can take less fuel either because it's only 14. Uh, I got a pit. It's only at 1.1. I'm going to be very aggressive in a pit road now. Holy no, no, no. Come on. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. There we go. 70 miles per hour. Four tire. We have to add all the fuel because we, we can't make it if we uh, go any less. Um, let's just take right side tires and then full tank of fuel. 11.6 on the estimated time. So hopefully that's going to be okay. 11.6, guys. 11.6. How do you make a mistake putting the fuel can in the car? Are you serious? It's the only job you had to do. Just put a fuel can in the car. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, go. Go. Let's go. Come on, damn it. I'm pretty sure, guys, I saw Matt Kenseth go out. I think we might have made a mistake. I think a lot of people there took two tires. Um, or just maybe fuel only. I don't know what happened there. I haven't seen Mr. Sprague all race. So, yeah. I think we might have made a slight mistake there. Maybe we could have gone less fuel. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe 1.5 would have been enough. But then again, our pit crew has made two mistakes. So they're two for two in terms of the mistake show. But we are in 17th at the moment. So we actually net gain. We were we were running in 20th, 21st, and now we're 17th. I will take a top 20. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, you qualified on pole. Why the heck are you back here in 19th? What's wrong with you? Hello, Jeff Green. I'm carrying a bunch of angry cars that are mad at me because I block them all the time. Uh, why are we all running the high line, by the way? We all run the high line here, Daytona. All right, so a top 15 is on the cards. I just got to find my way around Jeff Green, who is going to block. Okay, so white flag next time by. I have to get a run on Green because he's just going to block me, and then I run into this, you know, bubble of air, which just stops my car. So I have to figure out a way. Block Ryan Newman. There we go. 
Okay, there we are. I should get a run here coming down the back straight away. No, actually no, he's pulling away. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? White flag lap for who? Jeff Gordon! Jeff Gordon is winning the race. Beautiful scenes. He is on his way to win his his third Daytona 500 because he hasn't actually won his third in real life yet. There we go. There's the move. There's the move. Beautiful scenes. You try and put in the block. We get the pass, but we're not clear. Damn it. Okay. Reverse side draft? Does it work? Yeah. There we go. Oh, okay. It's definitely a lot more difficult. He's not happy about that. Yep. I would not be happy too if I got sideswiped 15th place in the Daytona 500, but guess what? We're a brand new team, brand new car, brand new driver, and we're here to make a, a statement before we run last every single race. So we're going to do it. You're not passing me low, Newman. Nope, you're not going back high. Uh-uh. Nope, nope, you're not going anywhere. It's very difficult to block on this game because the car is very, uh, it's very heavy. So <laughs> it's it's very weavy. Or what's, what's it? No, not weavy. It's just like when you, when you turn left and right quickly, it, it, you can easily lose control. So, oh, Newman's in the wall. It's going to be a top 15 for our first ever race in the 500. I will absolutely 100% take that. Beautiful scenes for the Nikon car. Look at that. Wonderful. Jeff Gordon wins the race. We are 30 seconds behind. Oh, we got a lot of work to do. So we have some allies. We have some rivals. But overall, I don't think we made any anything or did anything bad, really. Uh, that's a lot of money and stats. I mean, I'm doing accounting right now in my master's, so I, okay. Uh, new total, $507,000, because we got 394000 from the Daytona 500. Sponsor income, 116, because we met all that. Payroll, minus 63. Um, primary, secondary, associate, all that came in. Expectation bonus, prestige bonus, happiness bonus. They're not happy yet, so of course. Um, the race stats, Gordon wins, Michael Waltrip, Harvick, Ricky Rudd, Nima Check, Dale Jr., Rus Rusty Wallace, Burton, Kenseth round out the top 10, um, and we are Tony Stewart round out the top 10. We come in 15th. Very good. It's time for some upgrades. We have enough money to start researching. Okay, I'm going to wait. Wait, great work. Sponsorship obligations. You have completed the expedition of sponsor. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just wait before we do anything else. Because I don't know what to do. So, do I go ahead and repair this? You know, is that what I do? Repair $42,000 for two races. I'm just going to wait. Alright, so guys, let me know. Uh, we have a few days probably before we go back into here. So, uh, shop additions. Is there anything you guys would want to go in? Plus 10 tire grip for... for I don't have $750,000. What the hell is this? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Oh my god. Can I do multiple R&Ds or do I have to do like one by one per engine? Like, can I do one chassis, one engine, one body? Can I only do one at a time? It all, it all, you know, it'll, it'll play a part in it. Sponsor for each one up. Guys, we'll be back on NASCAR Thunder 2004 very soon. Hopefully you enjoyed. The Nikon car is back. Um, we'll see how it goes. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram if you're not already. And uh, it's going to be a long journey. Please let me know race length. 25% or 10%. 10% will be two races per video. 25% will be one race per video. Let me know. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully on NASCAR 21 Ignition. Hopefully with a patch. Really hoping. Come on. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.